Hi there, and welcome to the final part of our proof of the Gauss-Markov theorem in matrix form. And at the end of the last video, we had that the variance of beta tilde it was equal to some matrix C times its transpose C primed, all pre-multiplied by some sort of constant sigma squared. So how do I simplify this whole thing? Well, the idea is that I have to multiply it out. So if I multiply it out, I just get sigma squared. What's the first term going to be? Well, it's going to be this first term in this parenthesis times this term in this parenthesis, which is going to be equal to our sort of first term, which is x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times x times this whole sort of second thing here, which is going to be x primed x to the power minus 1. Okay, and just sort of as I sort of simplify as I go, we note that this is actually some matrix A times, uh, well, the, it's inverse times itself, and the matrix, any matrix A inverted times itself is just the identity matrix. So these two things actually cancel one another, and I'm just left with this last term because the identity matrix times this last term is just this last term. Okay, the second term I can write out, well, that's going to be equal to this first term times D transposed. And that's going to be X primed X to the power minus one times X primed times D transposed. And we can simplify the second term because we can write X transposed times D transposed actually being equal to DX all transposed. Because when I take the transpose of a product, then the order of multiplication in inverts. And we can recognize a second term here, right, or the thing inside the parenthesis, because we found that in order for our new estimated beta tilde to be unbiased, dx had to be equal to zero. So in fact, we've just got zero in for the second term. So this whole sort of thing here is going to disappear, right, because I can just write it out as dx primed, where dx is a zero vector. Okay, so that second term disappears. That, that's good. We're making some progress. The third term is just our matrix D times this sort of first term in the second parenthesis, which is just going to be equal to, if I use the same color, plus um, DX times X primed X to the power minus one. And again, we know that this DX term has cropped up and we know that in order for beta tilde to be unbiased, dx has to be equal to zero, so this second term disappears. And then finally, we're left with our sort of product of our matrix D times D primed, which we can't simplify, so we're just left with D times D primed. Okay, cool, so we can write out our sort of variance of beta tilde as being equal to sigma squared times x primed x to the power minus one, plus sigma squared times d, d primed. Okay, so how do we then compare this with the least squared estimator variance? Well, it turns out that this first term here is exactly what we got from our least squared estimator. So this is just the sort of variance of the least squared estimator. What about this second term here? Well, we can actually make some sort of conclusions about what this second term looks like because any matrix times um, the transpose of that matrix actually turns out to be a positive semi-definite matrix. And what does a positive semi-definite matrix mean? Well, it turns out that if I have any vector x times a positive semi-definite matrix A times x, well, it turns out that that scalar product is always greater than or equal to zero. And because we know that the matrix D times itself transpose is in fact a positive semi-definite matrix, then you can sort of think about this second term here as being the analog of a scalar number which is greater than or equal to zero. And because we can sort of think about this term as always sort of being sort of in a scalar analog greater than or equal to zero, we conclude that the variance of beta tilde is greater than or equal to the variance of beta hat least squared because this is just what we had from least squared plus some sort of non-negative second number. So in doing so, we have proved that the least squared estimator for um, our parameters, our population parameter beta, is in fact the best linear unbiased estimator possible. It's the best in the sense that there are no other linear unbiased estimators which have a lower sampling variance.